Okay, welcome to another great day of opening some packs of baseball cards. We have today, we are going to be doing a leaf set, a studio, and a Topps Stadium Club. Okay, well, let's start out with the 94 Stadium Club. Top Stadium Club. These cards were always like, looked almost like, well, I remember them as that size, you know, the box was a little smaller, and the cards always seem to be, they're not really smaller, they're just for some reason, because the box is small, they feel smaller. Okay, well, let's get right into it. Okay, let's see what we got. We'll see, because I can get some more of these at the the flea market. Hopefully we get some good stuff out of here. We'll see what we can get. Yeah, they're all kind of yeah, stuck together there. What we're going to do is we'll go through them and then like in the last video I will come back and show what I got. Oh, yeah, because they're stuck together. That one's kind of got a little bit of a discoloration on there because this one too the cards kind of get locked together fortunately it's like okay hopefully we don't like we want to get something really good but then not if it's going to be damaged at least we could still get something out of it if it's a really good card Back when I was collecting, oh, Will Clark. Hopefully this one is in good shape. That's a name I remember. Yeah, it kind of locked together again. David Justice. I've been pulling some of his cards, and those have been really good. Um, I'm excited to see what those are worth. Let's see what that. Yeah, the David Justice. If, seems like his cards are worth quite a bit of money, which is really nice. Funny thing is, is I don't remember <laughs> from when I was collecting as a kid. Well, especially with the, like, 94s, I had stopped collecting in, like, 92, 93. I was, wasn't really buying anymore. Some of those cards, unfortunately, are kind of damaged a little bit, but hopefully the ones that are the valuable ones, hopefully they're not, like the Will Clark and the David Justice. They don't seem to be. Okay, well I'll put up the price of those. Okay, well here's the honorable mentions from that Topps 1994 pack. This card was $5.24. Only problem is, is there's some uh, damage on the front, so it's definitely not worth that much, because uh, that's where the the wrapper had connected for some reason under pressure or whatever, kind of damaged the front. But then we had this one. That card was five dollars and forty nine cents. And then the one player that I actually did know from those pack was Will Clark. Uh, and that one was only a dollar three, but I can't, I put it in. A, I've been putting anything that's less than a dollar, or a dollar and less, in just putting it in my binder. Um, but I gave this one a case because I. That's one that we collected when I was a kid. Next pack we got the studio. These are 1992. 
Andy Armar Jr. Okay, well, Sandy Alomar should be a good one. I'm not as sure about George Bell. Andre Dawson, that might be a good one too. Okay, I will put up the prices. Okay, next pack. We are busting into the Leaf set. This is a 19 year. These ones with the reflective lettering makes it hard to pick up on the um on the camera. As you could tell with the if you watch the last shorts video I did when I opened Oh, what year was it? Was it 94? Don, Donruss, 94. That's got a lot of uh, reflective lettering. It was hard to, to read it. Okay, let's bust into the leaf. Uh, it's, uh, like some of these names are starting to look more familiar, even though I hadn't collected them when I was a kid. Doesn't mean that they're not worth something. David Davis. Tom Browning. Ozzy Smith, I know that name. And we got the puzzle piece. Okay. I'll grab the price of those also and show you those now. Okay, well, in that leaf pack, we had a Ozzy Smith, uh, it's 93 cents. That will be going into the binder. And then we had, try to get it, moving it along the table too much. Uh, we had the Eric Davis, that one was 73 cents. And then the better cards. This was a dollar ninety-nine. Not a huge amount, but it's better than nothing. Like I said, uh, let's see. We got Ron Gant. He was six dollars for that card. And then Kevin. This was a six-dollar card also. Those were the highlights of those packs. Unfortunately, the studio. Um, that I opened did not have anything in it of value, so um, nothing to honorable mention on that one. I think the, the highest price card in that deck was, I think, a 20 cent card or 25 cent card. <laughs> so, okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the series. Uh, there's many more to come. As you can see, I did get today, I got my tw uh, 2013, 2023. And we got the box, and then on the side over here, we got another pack of the 2024. So we will be opening those. I will probably be doing shorts on those. Um, I might do like a full length on this box, and I'll do probably do shorts on those, or maybe one of them or something like that. So, okay, well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, again, the the cards are um, I'm pricing through that app, the CO. LLX dot app. Uh, it's kind of a neat app. You can go on there and uh, see other people's collections and buy cards from people and stuff. And I will eventually be putting my cards on there also. So, okay. Well, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your night, and I will talk to you in the comments.